Jump Crypto pocketed over $1 billion in secret Duke One deal, dodges questions from second. M class equals line on WP image 129,869 SRC equals HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 689 million 630,587 court 32300 x to do 5. JPG all equals with equals 969 height equals 727 SRC set equals HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 689 million 630,587 court 32300 x to do 5 JPG 300 w HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash wp content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 689 million 630,587 court 32024 x 768 jpg 1924 https slash slash crypto news com slash wp content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 689 million 630,587 court 32768 x 576 JPG 768 HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 689 million 630,587 court 32156152 JPG 19536 HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 689 million 630,587 court 32248 x 1536 JPG 2048 with sizes equals max width 969 x 100 wa 969 x slash president of jump crypto Kenneth Karia pleaded his Fifth Amendment rights while being questioned by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission over an alleged hidden market-making scheme with Terraform Labs founder Du Quan that saw his company pocket over $1 billion. Caria's secret deal executed while allegedly promoting transparency. When asked by SEC counsel Devin Starin whether or not he made an agreement with Quan to buy up massive amounts of USD in order to restore the token's value, Carrier refused to elaborate and invoked his Fifth Amendment rights. Under instruction of counsel I exercise my rights under the Fifth Amendment to answer the question at this time, Carrier said. The deal, which saw Jump Crypto purchase large swaths of the token in exchange for an amendment to Jump's Luna loan agreement by lifting. Its vesting conditions was established on May 23, 2021, nearly two weeks after USD and Luna destabilized on May 9 and May 12, respectively. Reportedly, Jump purchased Luna coins valued at $90 for just 40 cents. Caria, meanwhile, served as a member of the Governing Council for Luna Foundation Guard, which claimed to ensure activities of the foundation are aligned with promoting transparency, governance, advancing research and development in open and decentralized networks. SEC alleges Quan wiped $40 billion in market value. Brought forward by the SEC in Manhattan Federal Court in February 2023, Quan, along with his firm Terraform Labs T. Limited is currently facing a civil fraud lawsuit for misleading investors. In the February complaint, the SEC alleged that Terraform and Quan perpetrated a fraudulent scheme that led to the loss of at least $40 billion of market value, including devastating losses for U.S. retail and institutional investors. Moreover, the SEC claims that Quan and Terraform repeatedly touted the restoration of the $1 peg as a triumph of decentralization and the automatic self-healing USD slash Luna algorithm while misleadingly omitting the actual reason why the $1 peg was restored, the third party's intervention to prop up the USD's price. Quan's potential extradition. U.S. regulators have requested a summary judgment of the case as opposed to taking it to trial, while Quan's defense has argued that the SEC has failed to prove any securities laws have been violated. Previously, Quan had an Interpol's red notice out for his arrest, before being sentenced in Montenegro for document forgery in June 2023. If extradited to the U.S., he would likely join recently convicted FTX founder Sam Bankman Fry at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York. Enter your email for our free daily newsletter or a quick three man read about today's crypto news. Sign up in SRC equals HTTPS slash slash simg co slash p slash ml 300 jpeg all equals image class equals mgid equals newsletter pop up in.